In this problem, we've got some square coil of wire. It's actually multiple coils. N equals 30. It's got 30 turns of wire around the square coil. That is 16 centimeters on each side. And this is in a magnetic field. So we've got some magnetic field of 0 0.3 for our intestines. And we're told that there's a torque, the maximum torque at that tau, 0 0.6. Zero newton meters being applied to the coil. And that's because this magnetic field and a current running through the coil is going to generate a force. So if we imagine it's a current that runs all the way around this coil here, like so. Well, on these ends where the coil is perpendicular to the magnetic field. So here, here, where it's perpendicular, then that's where you're going to get the maximum force between them based on the right hand rule, if you recall. We have current and magnetic field here. Is going to be a force applied on the wire perpendicular to each of those. And so if this thing has a torque, that means there's a force that's turning it. And we actually have an equation for torque, which is I A B sine theta. I is the current, A is the area, so the area of this whole square, B is the magnitude of the magnetic field, and then sine theta, theta is the angle between the current and the magnetic field. Uh, in this case, we're looking at a maximum torque, so that means that sine theta has to have its maximum value, theta equal to 90, and then sine of 90 is just 1. And so tau then is just IAB. And then we actually multiply by N because each one of those coils is going to experience this torque and it's magnified. You know, we multiply 30 times for each one of those 30 coils feeling this same torque. So if we go ahead and um, look at things that we know, we know the torque, we know the magnetic field, and we, we know the area since it's uh, 16 on each side of the square. So actually what we don't know is I, the current that would be running through this coil in order for it to feel this torque. So what we could do is solve for I and divide by the area and then feel number of turns and then I current in that wire is just torque divided by area magnetic field and number of turns in the wire from there we just plug in all these things that we know so it's the maximum torque divided by 16 and I'm gonna Write it as 0 0.16 in terms of meters. Square it because that's the area of the square, 16 centimeters times 16 centimeters. The magnetic field, which was given to us. And then 30, which is just the number of turns. If you plug all that in, then we'll be able to solve for I. get that I is equal to about 2.6 amps.
And that's one piece of information that we can learn about the coil based on everything that we were given.